Hi guys, welcome back to Beauty Beyond 40. If you're new to my channel, my name is Trina and I make videos mostly about skincare. So if you're obsessed with skincare and microcurrent, then consider subscribing to my channel because I do upload a new video every week. So today's video is long overdue. I'm so excited. I'm gonna do a tutorial about the MyLift Mini Conductive Gloves. So first let's make a checklist of all the things you'll need to use these microcurrent gloves. You'll need one pair of the gloves from 7e wellness and if you don't have these gloves already then i'll include a link in the description below but make sure you use my code beauty beyond 40 because you do save every time you shop on their site so i will leave all that information below you will need a MyLift mini machine you will also need the lead wire that comes in your MyLift mini box you will need a pair of gloves to line your hands before you slip them into the gloves and that's because you want the microcurrent to go to your face not your hands and i just have this box of gloves gloves here from Amazon. On the instructions, it says you can use latex, vinyl, or nitrile gloves. So I will leave a link in the description below um, so you can shop these gloves. You'll need a bowl of water because you are gonna be dipping the gloves into the water to make them wet. You don't need conductive gel to use the gloves, but you do need water. So I keep a bowl of water nearby so that I can wet the gloves initially and so that I can get them wet later on if I'm not getting conductivity. Even though you don't need conductivity gel, you still need to have a hydrated face. So I brought a couple of products here that I use. I like to use a hyaluronic acid serum to keep my face nice and hydrated. Hyaluronic acid is really hydrating because it can hold 1000 times its weight in water. So it's really hydrating and it plumps your skin. And this is one from Good Molecules and it's under $10. So I'll leave a link if you wanna shop that, but I do love this one. And then anytime that I'm using a hyaluronic acid serum, I like to prep my face face with a facial mist and this is one I've been loving from Tower 28. It's a clean beauty brand and it doesn't have any oil. It's fragrance free so it doesn't irritate my skin and the reason I like to use this is because when your skin is hydrated I feel like the hyaluronic acid can grab onto that water and really plump up your skin at least for me for my skin it seems to work better if I start with damp skin so I like to use these together in a combination when you're using the MyLift mini probes or the eye or lip mask or the gloves you don't want to use oil because then you're not going to get conductivity so these products are oil free so don't worry if you are not sure if your products are going to work they might have a little oil in them in the ingredients list towards the bottom you, you can always try them out with the device and that's one of the big reasons that I love the Maya Lift Mini Machine is that it tells you if you're getting conductivity. So don't worry, you can always give it a try and just check to see if you're getting conductivity. But if you are just sticking with a plain hyaluronic acid serum, um, you're not going to have a problem. So you want to start with clean skin. So I've taken off all of my makeup and then I'm going to spritz my face with this Tower 28 facial spray. Just make sure my face is nice and hydrated. Then I'm gonna take a few drops of this hyaluronic acid serum and I'm just gonna warm it up in my hands and I'm gonna just press it into my skin. So now my face is nice and hydrated. The next step is to make sure that I have my bowl of water ready to go. And then I'm going to place on my liner gloves. And then I'm gonna slip the gloves on one at a time. And when I put the gloves on, I like to make sure the, the liners are sticking through the bottom so I know that my um, whole hand is covered so the microcurrent is only gonna go to my face. Then I'm gonna take my MyLift mini device and I'm going to plug the lead wire into the back of the machine. I'm gonna plug in the gloves and it doesn't matter what side you do first. So I'm just gonna plug this in here and then I'm gonna take the other side and plug it right in. And you can plug these in before you slip them on, it's just a matter of preference. So now I'm gonna turn the device on and I'm gonna start with the level two erase. The same routine you do with the probes, you do with the gloves and I'm gonna do level two erase because that's the level that I'm at. If you're just getting started with the MyLift Mini, you can start with level one, but I'm doing level two erase and I'm gonna put the intensity all the way up to 400. And then of course you wanna hit run to get started. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to dunk the gloves into the water. So you just dunk it in to get them a little bit wet and then kind of squeeze your hand to make sure 
that there's not too much water. So I'm gonna do that with both of my hands here. Making sure that the gloves are wet. You don't want water dripping all over the place and all over your face. So you can see here they're wet now. I've hit run, so you can see here that the device is blinking. It's blinking because I don't have conductivity, so that's what we want. And once we start using it on my face, we'll see if we have conductivity. And the one thing you wanna make sure of when you're using the gloves is never put your hands on either side of your face when you're working with the gloves. You wanna make sure you keep your hands together while you're working on an area of your face or a section of your face. You don't want the current to go through your face, through your head. So that's just one tip where you wanna just make sure you keep your hands together. So just like I would if I was doing the probes, I'm gonna start with level two erase to get rid of this line that I have here on my forehead. So I'll put my hands just like this and I'm gonna pull apart. And I'm looking down at the device and I see the bar is not blinking. And that's definitely what we want because we want to make sure that we have conductivity, and we do. So I'm using firm pressure, but it doesn't hurt. The Mylif Mini should never hurt. So um, I'm just going to keep moving on either side of my forehead here, just smoothing out those wrinkles, and I can see that I have conductivity. Always checking the device to make sure I have conductivity. I'm just smoothing those wrinkles out. This is so cool. It's such an easy way to do your microcurrent. And then I'm gonna work on my 11s next where I'm gonna put my hands here and I'm gonna pull apart. I can see the strobing and that's totally normal. That's something you get used to uh, when you're using microcurrent. So I'm just erasing these wrinkles, erasing the um, 11s. I'm gonna put my two fingers here to try to get more targeted in erasing these 11s. I have these really annoying crinkly wrinkles like right here, the top of my nose, so I'm gonna take my two fingers and just spread them apart. And you're just doing it like you normally would with the probes, three to five times. You can spend more time on any area if you want to work on a little bit more. If you have an area that's really bothering you, like I would spend a little bit more time on these little wrinkles here because they really annoy me. And I would spend more time on this forehead wrinkle just to try to get rid of it. Just moving across my forehead. And then the next area I'm gonna work on is my crow's feet area. So we'll start here and just pull them apart. Ooh, and I can feel that in my teeth. Wow, I feel that uh, microcurrent in my teeth. Definitely takes getting used to. And then I'll do here. Ooh, you definitely feel that in the teeth. And then on this side. And then here. And then next I'm gonna move on to the lip area. Just smooth those wrinkles out. And I'm checking for conductivity. And then anywhere else on your face that you have lines or wrinkles that you want to address, you can do the erase mode. And then I'll like do the chin here. These fine lines are on the mouth area. Feels really nice. It feels like you're getting a face massage. I'm gonna work on those wrinkles on my nose a little bit more. You can even use like one finger if you want to get more targeted, if there's some areas that you want to smooth out. And to do the neck area, you just are going to smooth the wrinkles like this. And keep in mind, you guys, when you're doing the neck area, 
stay on the sides of your neck. Don't do your throat area where your thyroid is. Don't do the back of your neck where you have major arteries. Just stay in the, the sides of your neck. Smooth it out. And I'm doing it in this area as well. Just smoothing out any wrinkles. And then I'm gonna give my face a spritz before I move on to the educate mode, just to make sure my face is nice and hydrated and I can try to reactivate some of that hyaluronic acid. But I'm gonna switch to level two educate. And I'm gonna put the intensity up to 400 because I've been using this a while and I really wanna get the maximum benefits of the educate mode. And I'm gonna start with the eyebrow area. This is my most favorite area to do because I'm always trying to lift my hooded eyes. So just like I would with the probes, I'm gonna take two fingers here on either side. I'm gonna glide, lift, and hold for a few seconds. I'm gonna glide, lift, and hold. And when you're doing the educate mode, you guys, you should never feel anything. You shouldn't feel twitching. Like I feel twitching right now. So I'm going to turn down the intensity to maybe like 370 and see how I feel. You don't want to feel twitching. If you feel twitching, that means you're not building ATP. And the whole point of doing microcurrent is to build ATP. So make sure that you don't feel any twitching. If you do, turn the intensity down. Okay. So I'm going to glide, lift and hold. That feels much, much better. I'm going to glide, lift and hold. Wow, that definitely works. Wow, that's so, so cool to see. And since I've started incorporating some additional movements in the educate eyebrow move, I will show you those right now. So I'm gonna glide, lift and hold on the outer corner here of my eyebrow. Instead of just the center, I'm doing the glide, lift and hold on either side. So here we go, glide, lift, and hold. Glide, lift, and hold. Definitely can see that difference. And then I'm gonna do glide, lift, and hold in the inner corner of my eyebrow. Glide, lift, and hold. Glide, lift, and hold. Definitely see a difference there. Now, just like the probes, I'm going to place one finger here on the inner corner of my eyebrow, and I'm gonna push up, and I'm gonna hold with the top finger. One, two, three. Then I'll move to the center, push and hold, two, three. Push and hold, two, three. And I'll do that two more times. So three times total. That's, look at that difference in the eyebrows, it's crazy. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to the other eyebrow and I'm going to glide, push and hold in the center. Hold for a few seconds. Glide, push and hold. Actually, it's more like glide, lift, and hold. So we're trying to lift those eyebrows. Glide, lift, and hold. And I usually do it like three to four times. You can definitely spend more time in this area if you have hooded eyes like me. Then I'm going to move to the outer corner of the eyebrow and glide, lift, and hold. Glide, lift, and hold. Glide, lift, and hold and then move to the inner corner of the eyebrow. Glide, lift, and hold. Glide, lift, and hold. Glide, lift, and hold. Now we have some symmetry coming into play here. Um, now I'm gonna do the lift and hold, just like we did on the other side. Lift and hold, lift and hold, and then three, three times total. There, so now we have some nice symmetry in the brows. I like to do the other side 
sometimes just to get some additional lift just to make sure that they're the same. That is definitely my favorite part of using the MyLift Mini. So now I'm going to do the under eye area. I'm going to turn it down to level one educate. I'm at 175 intensity. I'm going to place two fingers here on the side of my nose. I'll take these two fingers and I'm just going to slide it in to meet these fingers. But I'm not going to touch the fingers together. I'm just sliding here. So this is where I'm building the muscle underneath my eye to try to help fight dark circles under the eyes. And I have conductivity, I'm checking. And it shouldn't hurt, you know, you want, want to be really gentle with your eye area, it's really delicate. You don't want to get more wrinkles. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm using firm pressure, but it doesn't hurt. Okay, and now I'm going to go to the other side, place two fingers here and just slide the fingers in. You definitely feel this in your teeth. Now that we're done with the educate area and the eye area, I'm going to move to the educate area on the rest of my face. So I'm going to go back to level two educate and I'm just going to leave it at 350 and see how I feel um, because we did have some twitching when I was doing it um, in my eye area and we definitely don't want that. So now I'm going to do the jaw area and I'm going to place one hand here in the back of my jaw and then the other hand here I'm going to push and I'm going to scoop and I'm going to hold for a few seconds and I'm going to push, scoop and hold. So just like you're doing with the probes, you're doing with the gloves. With the gloves, it's really cool because you can get more surface area um, using your hands. So it's, it's cool. It's like a faster approach to sculpting your face. So then let's do the other side. We place one hand here, back of my jaw, and then I'm going to take this hand and I'm going to push and hold. So I'm like scooping it up and I'm holding it, building these muscles, trying to create some lift. Okay, so now I'm gonna do some pinches along the jawline. I'm gonna start by placing one hand here, and then I'm just gonna push up and pinch that jaw, and I'm gonna hold it for a few seconds. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then I'll move up to the next section of the jaw. I'm gonna pu push and hold. Two, three. Push and hold two, three, push and hold, two, three, then move up to the last section of the jaw here, always checking for conductivity, all right, then let's do the other side, scoop up and hold, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, just working your way back toward your ear. And then the last section here, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So next I'm just going to move up my face and do some pinches, but I'm going to do it um, above the jaw and the cheek area. So I'm going to place two fingers here, and then I'm just going to push up and hold. Ooh, do you definitely feel that in the teeth? Wow. <laughs> one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Then move to the next section here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then the last section back here. One, two, three. I think this is a lot easier to do than the probes because your gloves are wet and they're textured and you can really get more control as to where you're working your face. I really like these for this area. And then we'll do the other side. Place two fingers here and just scoop up and hold. Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, checking for conductivity. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then the final area back here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So the next movement I'm going to do is some push and hold around the cheekbone area to kind of sculpt that area. So I'm going to place one hand here and I'm going to push and hold this whole area. And I'm going to do that three times. Just lifting up that whole face. And then I'm actually going to move a little higher and do the same thing. I 
I can definitely see that this side of my face is lifted a little bit, so let's go ahead and do the other side. So I'll place one hand here, and then we're gonna push, and we're gonna hold. Scooping the face up and just holding it to try to lift and build those muscles. And then we'll move up a little higher. And my skin is getting a little bit red, but that's perfectly normal. I'm massaging my face, I'm using these texture gloves, and it is bringing the blood to the surface of my skin. There's nothing to worry about, it will go away afterwards. It's a good thing that you're stimulating the blood flow um, in your face. Okay, next we're gonna move on to the mouth area, and this is another one of my favorite areas because you can definitely see a lift in the mouth pretty quickly. So I'm gonna place two fingers here on the top of my lip, and then I'm gonna take the other two fingers, I'm gonna scoop up and I'm gonna hold. I'm, doing, I'm gonna do it three times. Wow, it's so crazy, I definitely see that lift. And then I'll do the other side, so I'll place two fingers up on the top of my lip here, and then I'll scoop and hold. And definitely can see the lift on that other side too. That's so fun to do. Let's do a test. I'm going to turn the intensity up to 400 because I was at level 2, 300 educate. I'm going to do level 2, 400 educate, do those same movements and see if we can get even more lift. So let's try this out. So I place the, my fingers here and I'm going to lift and hold. Wow, that's pretty cool. Try it on the other side. I definitely see a really nice lift there. Next, I'm gonna place my fingers here and I'm gonna lift up and hold. This is the movement we do with the probes but I'm just doing this with my fingers now. Lift up and hold. Lift up and hold. I can see a, a dramatic lift there. And then I'm gonna go here I'm going to put my fingers here on this side of my nose and I'm going to lift up and hold the mouth area. Wow, that's, I can see a, a definite lift in my mouth area. That's really cool. I'll do one more on this side for symmetry. You could also Place your hand like this and scoop it up if you want, if that feels better to you. Really, with the gloves, you can experiment with different movement because you have a lot more surface area. And the gloves feel really nice. It feels more like a massage than the probes. And next I'm going to do some cheek pinches. So I'm going to place one hand here below the eye. I'm not going to get into the under eye area, so I'm going to keep it on my cheekbone. And I'm going to take the other hand, and I'm just going to push up, and I'm going to hold. Two, three. Definitely feel this in your teeth. And this is just helping to sculpt the cheekbone area. And then move to the next section. And we're scooping, pinching, and holding. Always checking for conductivity. And then the last area here. And then we'll move to the other side. Place one hand here on the cheekbone below the eye area, and then we're going to actually do it this so I can show you. So one hand here um, on the cheekbone below the eye area, and then we're gonna push up and hold the cheeks. Definitely see strobing, and I feel it in my teeth. <laughs> and then the last area here. So the last thing I'm gonna do, since I'm using the gloves instead of the probes, um, is I'm gonna place one hand here on the side of my face, and I'm just gonna take the other hand, 
and I'm just gonna push up and I'm gonna just hold. You can do the whole side of your face. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna lift up. I'm gonna lift up and hold. I'm gonna lift up and hold. And then same over here, I'm gonna lift up and hold. I'm gonna lift up and hold. And I'm gonna lift up and hold. And that's it, you guys. That's the entire routine for the conductive gloves. What you do when you're done is you can hit pause on the device and then turn it off. And then you want to unplug the gloves from the lead wire. And then you remove the gloves. And you do need to wash the gloves. They say you just wash the gloves in soap and water and then you can leave them to dry. I'll probably spray a little bit of alcohol um, on them before I put them back in their case just for sanitary purposes. And if you are using these on clients, if you're an esthetician, then absolutely you should use an antibacterial soap or um, a alcohol spray. But these gloves, I believe, are antimicrobial on their own. But I think it's just a good idea to spray them with alcohol. Um, but that's how you take care of the gloves and then just leave them out to dry fully before you put them back in their package. And then once you take off your liner gloves, you can either throw them away or you can save them for next time. And that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial about the MyLift Mini Conductive Gloves. I hope you enjoyed it. Please share this with a friend if you think they would enjoy it. Make sure to like and comment on the video. Let me know what you thought of this tutorial. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to my channel because I do upload a new video every week. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I do upload a lot of IGTV videos over there that I don't post to my YouTube channel. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thanks for watching.